In this tutorial, we're going to explore some alternative applications using the Regrade HDR Merge effect for color correction and styling. In the first tutorial, we saw some examples showing normal usage for this plugin. Please watch the Regrade More Than One Way to Blend Part 1 tutorial if you're interested in seeing examples which show basic use of this plugin. We will start by looking at this example of Caro in Costa Rica. We've enhanced the color with an extreme color correction to make this more obvious. As we test the different modes, we can see that Off removes the HDR merge altogether. So this is just the color correction now. We used Regrade Color Correct and we also apply Regrade HDR and merge the source with the original. Also, here we changed the tone only. If the color effect was just manipulating the tint, this would have no effect. The tone midpoint is to control how our original source is mixed with this intermediate color correction result. We can add another effect that will show the difference. We can use Smooth Kit Sharpen where we will add a lot of contrast and now we can see the difference. This way the new intermediate image has pixels that are darker than the originals and pixels that are lighter than the original. Now switching between the two modes shows the difference. This way of doing blending can also be used to accomplish the fake HDR effect where you first create a darker and lighter image from the same source image. Make sure you work in 32-bit float if possible for best effect. Okay, now let's review blending in general. If I start here and make the opacity of this top layer 50%, we can see what a normal blend between layer 1 and layer 2 looks like. Side note, if I go to Project Settings and I change the settings for Blend to Gamma 1, you will get a different result. Essentially, what that did is convert the current working space to linear. Okay, let's reset this to off. Now I can reset the opacity to 100% and open the effects in the timeline. Here we're using the Find Edges effect again. I can set Compositing Options Effects Opacity to 50% and we see the same result as the first example of the normal blend. If I reset the compositing options to 100% and change the Find Edges Blend with Original option to 50%, it's just like the compositing options result. Now I can reset Blend with Original to 0% and turn on Regrade and set Tone Map to Weighted Blend. So this is weighted with luminance modulated by the midpoint slider. Now I can set HDR Blend to 1. It's the original source our layer parameter points to. 0 is the effect above. And at 0, only the black lines are still there. The rest is our original color source unprocessed before the Find Edges effect. Now if we select HDR Merge, we can see that it's different. We can see the three different blends again to see the differences. This is how we can bring out the extended shadow and highlight detail to create a richly detailed finished image. Now let's see what happens if we use completely different sources. We have a shot of a dancer over white and some clouds. First we'll see what we don't want to do in a multi-exposure shot. This isn't a very good look because the white of the dancer shot comes into the cloud shot as a halo. If you have a flat color background like this without any detail, it's best to use a matte when doing a multi-exposure. If I go to the pre-comp of the dancer, I see that I have added the matte of the dancer above the dancer layer and turn off the visibility. I can turn on the track matte and select alpha. I can apply refill choke to our dancer layer matte to get rid of the white halo. I can choke about 1.5 and also change the output right mode to alpha and change the input channel to luminance. We can go back to the comp now. I added a solid because I wanted it over white. We've added regrade HDR merge to the pre-comp of the dancer. We choose HDR merge, the clouds as the source, and choose source. Now I want to add an additional layer to this composite within the dancer. Let's see how to do that. We can add another video to the comp. I drag it in over the solid and turn off layer 1 for now. I can turn on layer 2 and apply HDR merge to layer 2. 
We may clear three the other source and change the tone remap mode to HDR merge. We can turn layer one back on. For the HDR merge on layer one, we will change source to effects and masks since we have added this effect. Now we have mixed both of the additional layers in with our dancer over white, which can be a very cool effect. I hope this overview gives you some ideas on different ways to use regrade HDR merge.